From the state of the weather to the state of the city of Stockton. Yeah, today Mayor Kevin Lincoln spoke about the city's accomplishments and, of course, what comes next. Today, our uh, ABC 10s uh, spoke to one of the people who is dealing with the fire conditions that have been such an issue for this area. Take a look at what we learned with ABC 10's Kurt Rivera. Before a large crowd at the Port of Stockton, Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln took to the podium to say how the city is moving in a positive direction. Stockton will become the best city in the nation to live, raise a family, and grow a business. On public safety, he touched on the increase in homicides, 24 this year compared to 21 this time last year. But he noted injury shootings have dropped significantly, 33 this year compared to 53 last year to date. We've expanded our services to youth ages 12 to 17 years old by creating a youth prevention and intervention program focusing on deterring young people from violence. While touting the city's economic progress, Lincoln also said the city issued 3,300 new business licenses last year. Despite the positivity surrounding the mayor's address, some say the city can do more. Firefighters Union Chief Mario Gardia says Stockton remains the busiest city for calls in the country. He says the city could use 30 more firefighters. We're still short a truck company and a fourth person on each engine. So it, it, bottom line is we just need more staffing. And while community activist Tony McNeil calls the mayor and council ambitious with funding to help nonprofits, she says the process to acquire the funding can be done smoother. We're putting something that is out there before the community. However, what we're not doing is ensuring the community understands the full process that things need to go through. The mayor also handed out a number of keys to the city, including to the parents of Kristen Smart, the Lincoln High School graduate who vanished while attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Paul Flores was convicted of killing their daughter last year. To this day, the support that we get from you is the strength that helps us move forward. The mayor also announced the city will launch a student worker program in about two weeks. It will provide jobs for 300 youth.